As you just saw, I started spraying the primer. Since then, I've sprayed a coat of, top coat of uh, paint. Got the uh, shiny white, customer wants all white. We're going with all white. Now, I didn't cut the holes out for the uh, windows yet because I didn't want to have to mask everything off. So now I've got to uh, jigsaw this out. Then I've got to smooth it all up. Then I've got to work on the windows and get the butyl tape, get them put in, get them screwed in, get them looking good. All right, to get the jigsaw going, I've got to uh, drill some holes. So I'm going to drill some holes, get the jigsaw going. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the line of the skin because it's worked for 60 years. It should be exact right now. All right, we've got the hole cut. As you can see, we got a test fit. Now we have got to add some butyl tape. Butyl tape, I'm telling you, it is the magic potion. This stuff is so sticky, it lasts for 30, 40 years. If you put it on right, it's waterproof. So we're gonna apply it right here to this seal. We're gonna get it on nice and tight. We're gonna run the full edge to edge to end. We'll cut it right here. And if you, if you get some overlap, that's okay. Because you, you honestly, a little too much is okay. Not enough, not so much. All right, so we're going to kind of push this down. Because it likes to stick to the paper as well. So, it, uh, you got to kind of be careful. I'm going to pull it off here slow. Maybe even start running your finger here right ahead of it. I found that that kind of works really well. Now we're gonna take this up. We're gonna stuff it right here in the hole. Maybe, hopefully, we didn't test it. There we go. That's good because it was a perfect fit. And now with that butyl tape, it's nice and tight before we even ever screw it down. So I'm gonna run some screws into it and we're gonna be ready to go. All right, time to finish up. I've got a couple more screws to put into the window and it's done. I'm using a number six, three quarter inch stainless steel screw. So let's get these put in. You can kind of see that we're going right through the butyl tape. So if you can see that butyl tape on the inside of that hole, you know that you're doing it right. So you see that little gray and then that's gonna push in real good and it's gonna pop it up at the top, which is okay. So that's nice and stout on that. Let's go ahead and put our eyebrow in while we're at it. We're gonna use the same screws. And I've already got the butyl tape installed. You can see where that one's going right through that butyl tape. These uh, screw holes are already in here in the metal, but not so much in the plywood. So we're gonna get good, let that one sit there. So it's gonna be good and tight once we get that put in there. So we get this in on this side. So as I was telling you, the butyl tape around the window stops it from leaking on the window. But, man, sometimes it rains sideways. You're having a bad storm or whatever. Maybe it didn't get installed right. You can see this one's popping up and that's perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. So you put these little eyebrows over here it, and with the butyl tape again, now we've got double butyl tape, plus this hits this eyebrow, pops out, and if it's not raining too hard, there's a little gutter right here that'll wash it off to the side. Triple protection. So this is great. We're gonna put the rest of these in, and then that's gonna be it for the window. Make sure you like and subscribe. My cameraman said we need to do a quick close, so 